Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today we're taking a look at the LBX Sacred Knight Zenon. This is actually a recoloring of the original Zenon, and this particular suit is a special edition that has a CD that's supposed to be bundled in with it, but mine did not. I just got the kit, uh, but it is basically an album from the Don Ball Sinky W series. So straight out of the box, this is what we're going to get. It's honestly really cool looking. I love the aesthetics. The colors are very vibrant and everything just pretty much pops. However, there comes with a few cons. So much like every other standard LBX kit, this thing is going to have a lot of stickers attached and they haven't really held up well since 2012. So moving away from stickers and looking at design, this is Really, really cool. I love the head sculpt. One of my favorite features on this mobile suit because it's super intimidating. You do have the ponytail right in the back. You're going to have this front horn and those eyes just have a piercing gaze. So if you really want to, you know, do a little bit better, get rid of those stickers and apply some paint. Now with looking at the body, it is going to look really cool as well with the kind of Xeon symbol look right there on the front. Obviously it's going to be a sticker, but if you really want to, you can do a reverse wash on that and that would look a lot better. But I don't think the sticker looks horrible. It's obviously not amazing, but I don't think it's horrible. Now for the arms, you are going to have these beautiful shoulders. I don't, I don't know why, just these like three claws look fantastic. But there is going to be a little bit of a hollow in the two, the little, two little smaller ones. So you're going to have to bust out some putty, fill that in, and you will definitely have to paint. Now for the rest of the arm, it's all very plain white, which I don't think is bad. But you could definitely separate that with a little bit of paint. So maybe on this end right here, you could just do a darker tone, white, or gray, or some other color of your choosing. The waist isn't half bad at all. I love the blue with the white that kind of matches with the chest. It looks really cool, but you are going to have all that white being stickers. So yeah, you're going to have to definitely paint a lot, except for the front one right up here. Now when looking at the legs, I don't think they're that amazing. I, I'm not a big fan of the orange right there in the middle of the knee. It just really comes off a little odd. Like I can kind of forgive the weapon and the tail, uh, but the knees, I don't know. I don't think that orange really clashes well with the rest of the colors. Maybe that should have been a red in my opinion. Uh, so something I'm definitely going to just change in the future. Everything else looks really good. Don't mind the feet. The feet look pretty fine. The legs, I, I would say the weakest part of the suit, but still, ultimately, it's okay. And you are going to have a little tail that does not have any posability whatsoever. So that's pretty unfortunate. Now, when coming over to the backpack, you are going to have these two large, like, spikes on the back, which looks really cool from the front, but when you look on the back side, you're going to have more hollow points. And of course, the cape is going to be paper. And lastly, we are going to have the mace, which there's nothing really wrong with the design, but when it comes to everything else in terms of color, even the, the actual staff part, that being blue is just, man, it's a horrible color. Granted, this is a children's cartoon, so uh, I guess you can kind of forgive it, but ultimately, I would change the color, like, pretty much 100%. So in terms of articulation, how does this fare? I can tell you guys right now, this is by far the worst LBX kit in terms of articulation and posability. The head's going to be on a double ball joint, so at least it has that going for it. It has a ball joint for the shoulders. Rotation right here at the shoulder. Rotation at the bicep. The arm can go about 90 degrees. Ball joint at the hand. Rotation at the waist. Peg and socket piece right here for the side skirts. The same for the front. Tail can rotate around. Ball and socket joint for the hips. One point of articulation right here at the knee. And lastly, a ball joint at the ankle. Now if you do have a stand, then you can play with it and possibly get in some decent poses. I think this one's an okay one, but it's really going to be heavy on that front with the mace. So you're definitely going to have to get something to support it. So if you can't afford to use a stand, honestly, with it just standing, it can still pull off some halfway decent poses. Honestly, I'm just not that impressed, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit biased on it. But whether it's on your shelf at home or at your shelf at a hotel, this is still going to be a really cool looking kit. And it's probably going to draw a lot of attention just because that white is so vibrant. And you're going to have all that orange and it's kind of like, oh, that looks pretty interesting. So I, I would recommend you getting it if you're going to put in the work. If you're not going to put in the work, maybe you can skip on it. 
but I think I picked mine up for like maybe fifteen dollars or twelve bucks. So if you're like, hey, I'm going to just accept that there's gonna be a lot of stickers and it's not gonna be very posable, but it still looks cool. So if you want to dish out the twelve, fifteen dollars, by all means. But honestly, I would not go above twelve bucks if you do find it online. Some people are collectors though, and some people are gonna make up their mind that they just want to collect it just for the the clout or just to complete their collection. Uh, otherwise, I think you can easily pass on this. So that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you all for watching. Uh, we're nearing the end of LBX month, so hopefully we can go out on a bang. I'm still going to have the Hunter right there to review, as well as some other ones. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be seeing you all in the next review. Bye-bye.